Hello, everyone. Good morning. Um, as people are starting to trickle in, um, I'm just going to um, go ahead and introduce myself and send a couple of housekeeping reminders as we begin um, the event. A um, couple of things, please make sure that um, your sound is muted at this point, just so that we can hear the presentation. Um, you can certainly feel free to ask her? any questions in what the chat, um, and oh. make sure that oh. you are able to, um, that everyone is able to be heard. Um, so feel free to ask questions in the chat throughout the course of the presentation. We have um, a jammed packed schedule today um, and really want to make sure that you are getting the most of your experience. Um, so my name is Ashley Gerald. I am one of the assistant directors of recruitment and engagement here at UIC. Um, and today we are highlighting um, our sciences and our pre-health programs um, in the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. So thank you so much for joining us. Um, we are so happy to have you. Um, and I just wanted to give you a quick rundown of what the um, program will look like. Um, so first we will go ahead um, and do a quick overview of our sciences and pre-health programs here at UIC. Um, from there, we will actually go live um, to our Math Science Learning Center, where, we, where you'll get to see a full tour of the space, um, hear from one of our peer leaders um, in the center um, to really get an idea of what that looks like um, for students. Um, after that point, we will be able to um, go into a, a research lab to talk a little bit about the lab experiences at UIC um, and hear about our research opportunities. And finally, you will get to see an active learning classroom. Um, so again, if at any point you have questions throughout this presentation, please feel free to pop them in the chat. Um, we will try to get to as many of your questions as possible um, and make sure that you are getting a really good experience today. Um, so a couple of um, things just right off the bat. Many of you are coming today because you are interested in the sciences. So, and many students come to UIC because science is, um, is a big priority and a big goal for them as a student. Um, so some of our more, more popular majors um, in the sciences include our biological science degree, um, along with chemistry, um, mathematics, physics. Um, those tend to, to be some of the more popular programs for um, our students coming into LAS. Um, we offer a lot of really strong um, areas, not only academically in the sciences, but also for students to gain relevant experience. Um, so two of the students that you'll actually see on this slide, um, Teresa Iwa and um, Francis Crable, are both students that um, were in the sciences, they're recent alums, and they actually did a lot of relevant work outside of the classroom, including um, a study um, in the art on our Northwest Passage project, um, really giving students an opportunity to study climate change. Um, so again, the priority of our science programs is not just to prepare you for your foundational science classes, but to allow you to apply what you're learning in and outside of the classroom. Um, some other unique majors in our sciences to highlight um, are integrated health studies um, major along with our neuroscience um, curriculum um, really are two options that allow students to really branch out um, outside of just the main science courses. Um, we see a lot of courses in health equity. Um, we see a lot of different courses um, really highlighting um, highlighting things outside of just the heavy math and science um, curriculum. So um, lots of ways to get involved in the sciences, lots of ways um, to really take your education to the next level, um, no matter what you major in um, in those areas. Um, so just a brief highlight, as many of you, I know many of you are interested in the sciences and you're also interested in our pre-health programs. So just wanted to give you a quick highlight um, of what those might look like. Um, so with students who are interested in um, a pre-health educational goal, um, many students come in interested in doing pre-med, pre-pharmacy, pre-dentistry. Um, and something we hear quite often is, I am majoring in pre-med. I am majoring in pre-pharmacy. 
And while certainly um, those are goals that you are pursuing, um, those are known as what we call educational goals. Um, and so with students that are interested in pursuing those after graduation, um, they still need to select a major. One of the cool things um, about UIC is that I think many times students default to saying, I'm going to be a biology major and do pre-med, or I'm going to be a chemistry major and do pre-dentistry. And while we have many students that do do that, um, we also have many students that major in things completely outside of the sciences um, while still pursuing those educational goals. Um, so you really have lots of different options um, to make sure that you are being well-rounded, to make sure that you are um, fulfilling kind of some of those educational goals that you might have. Um, so keep in mind, again, we have lots of different support resources, lots of different advisors here to, again, help you on those goals, make sure that um, you're not only completing what you need to complete in order to finish your major, but that you are, um, you know, getting all of the great well-rounded experiences at UIC um, to make sure you're, you're taking your education to the next level. Um, so um, before I go ahead and transition over to the Math and Science Learning Center, um, I'm going to show you a quick video um, of our um, campus tour, um, just so you have an idea of what some of these spaces look like. And then we'll go ahead and go live um, to the actual um, Math and Science Learning Center. Um, hopefully that gives you um, a quick view of what campus might look like. Um, hold on. Sorry about that. Um, hopefully that gives you a quick view of what campus looks like. Um, and I'm going to go ahead now and turn it over to our Math and Science Learning Center team to really show you one of the wonderful resources on campus that supports our um, students taking math and science classes. So go ahead, Oscar and Sonia, take it away. Hi, good morning. First of all, I wanted to say congratulations to everyone who's here today. Uh, welcome to UIC. My name is Sonia Gupta and I'm currently a UIC senior, double majoring in biology and Russian. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you a little bit more about the Math and Science Learning Center, also known as the MSLC. So if you wanna follow me here, uh, the Math and Science Learning Center is a 9,000 square foot space that really emphasizes collaborative learning. And the way that it does this is by supporting students through having spaces where small groups can come and study together, as well as offering tutoring services. The Math and Science Learning Center was recently renovated in 2018 to really support and create spaces that support innovative and collaborative learning. The Math and Science Learning Center supports a myriad of different subjects, including math, chemistry, biology, physics, earth and environmental sciences, and statistics. Currently, the Math and Science Learning Center has 110 students supporting the center through tutoring, logistics, and managing the center. 
In addition, last semester, we had 230 teaching assistants and 30 professors provide their office hours to the Math and Science Learning Center. The goal of the Math and Science Learning Center is to really support collaborative learning. And the way that we see this happening is through these amazing spaces on campus and the tutoring options available as well for the Math and Science Learning Center. Actually, in the last year, we had around 5,000 students use, utilize the Math and Science Learning Center space. And we found that students who use the Math and Science Learning Center space performed better in their classes than students who didn't. The Math and Science Learning Center is a completely free resource to utilize, and it's open to students from any academic level. Furthermore, the Math and Science Learning Center does not require any appointments, and it's a great place to come and just study if, when you're outside of class or if you want to get support on certain assignments or certain topics. So space is also available to utilize for special events. Oftentimes, professors and student orgs will have events in the space as well, such as professor meet and greets and review sessions. So we're gonna walk over here real quick and see this check-in area. We have a self-service check-in area right here. And after students check in, a student assistant will help direct them to the area of the Math and Science Learning Center dedicated to this topic that they want assistance in today. In addition, the Math and Science Learning Center really aims on supporting collaborative learning. For example, we have a dry erase board walls as well as technology available in space as well. So what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna walk over here to one of my new favorite areas in the Math and Science Learning Center. So over here, you can see another aspect of the center where we have a lot of space for individualized study, as well as certain areas on the side for small group study. This area really likes to incorporate dry erase walls and also incorporates natural light. So Sonia, one question I had that I wanted to follow up with. You said that your major is biological sciences and Russian. That seems like a very interesting, unusual, unexpected combination to take something in the sciences, combine it with the humanities. I wonder if you could talk about how, why you selected that and, and uh, yeah, talk a little bit more about that major selection. Oh yeah, absolutely. So it is a little bit of an interesting major selection. Um, the reason why I chose both of those majors is because I absolutely love STEM approach and the analytical approach of sciences, but I also really love the humanities. And I think through UIC's general distribution requirements, I really got to explore different fields in the humanities, and UIC really makes it accessible to students if they want to pursue multiple degrees or explore different subject areas as well as the sciences to do so. Do you think that helps if you're thinking about a pre-health educational goal to have that kind of uh, area of study in both of those different areas? Oh, absolutely. I think it's really important, especially when it comes to pre-health, to have a <clears throat> sorry, to have a larger um, understanding of the world around you, not just through the sciences, but also through the humanities as well. And so you're going to deny this, but you are one of our highest, most accomplished, credentialed students on campus. You guys are lucky enough to have her here with you this morning. Uh, what has led to that success? How has UIC been able to support the success that you've had? Well, you're way too sweet. I am definitely not the most credentialed student on campus. Um, but I think one of the things that really helped me get to this stage in my UIC career is all the support that UIC offers. UIC offers support through the Math and Science Learning Center, through professors, um, through office hours. There's just a myriad of resources to utilize at UIC and not enough time to use them all. So, and speaking of all that myriad uh, amount of resources, uh, we're gonna, we got a chance to see the MSLC, but Ashley, our host, is gonna tell us a little bit more about some of these other resources. Great, thank you so much, Casey. Um, yeah, so one of the great things I would say about UIC in general is that um, we do a really good job of making sure that students, no matter um, what, what you're looking to get um, tutoring in or what resources you're looking to find, um, we really break it down um, in a positive way in a way that's easy for you to find um, what you're looking for. So I included on this slide a quick QR co code so you can take a picture of it um, and get directed to our tutoring resource um, space. And one of the things that I think is awesome is that this um, resource allows you to look at tutoring by individual courses, allows you to look in general for biology, chemistry tutoring, um, writing center hours, um, to really give you a, a positive look at how you can improve in your classes. I would say one of the biggest differences between high school and college is the fact that most of our students at UIC 
who want to be successful will um, seek out tutoring before they think that they need it. Um, and I think that Sonia and all of our students would echo that as well, um, that tutoring is really for all students. Um, the coursework at UIC is really challenging, um, and it's challenging um, in a good way because we want to prepare you for whatever's next, whether that is a pre-health ed goal, whether that's something in corporate, something totally different, um, something you haven't even thought of yet um, as a first year transfer student. Um, so I would definitely encourage you to look at some of our resources um, outside of just the Math and Science Learning Center, because I think that um, you will really see there's lots of different ways to get support as a student at UIC. Um, before I go ahead and hand it over to our next um, group that's going to talk a little bit more about lab experiences and how to get involved in undergraduate research, um, I want to show you a quick video, again, another kind of overview of some of our additional resources um, to really kind of paint more of the picture of campus and what um, the academic life is like um, here at UIC. So give me one moment, I'm going to switch over. gives you again another perspective of what campus looks like. Um, certainly there will be, we'll mention this later, but there'll be other opportunities to kind of take some self-guided tours. Um, one of those resources mentioned in the video is that um, we are a research one institution and that we have lots of different renovated lab spaces. Um, so in the spirit of that, I'm going to go ahead and pop over um, to one of our renovated lab spaces to talk a little bit more about the under graduate research experience here at UIC. Um, so Justin and um, Paul Ash, if you want to go ahead and get started. All right, great. Uh, great. Thank you, Ashley. I appreciate uh, the heads up. And we are here today actually filming live from one of our renovated biological sciences teaching laboratories. And I'm fortunate enough to be here with one of our great student leaders here at UIC. Um, Paul Ash, who's going to talk a little bit about, uh, first of all, why he decided to choose UIC and what attracted him to uh, pursue uh, coming to UIC to study the sciences. All right. Thank you so much, Justin. Hello, everybody. It's so good to see everybody here on Saturday morning and so many participants. I'm very excited for this. 
So my name is Paul Ash, and I'm a senior here at UIC. Um, I'm majoring in biological sciences and I'm doing a minor in chemistry and I will be graduating in the next couple of months and I'm very excited about it, but also sad that I will be leaving UIC very soon. Great, so Paul Ash, um, we're here, uh, a big part of students being in the sciences are, are the hands-on types of experiences that our students want to gain. Uh, so today we're gonna talk a little bit about more of the experiential side of things and undergraduate research, right? We're talking about UIC is a premier research one university, which means we are at the highest level of any American university in terms of our faculty discovering new knowledge. Um, our most important thing is to get our undergraduates to be involved in that process. So mm -hmm. can you talk a little bit about how you yourself got involved in undergraduate research and um, why you thought that would be a really good opportunity for you here at UIC? Definitely. So when I was in high school, I had already decided that I wanted to do a major in biology. And that is why choosing college, uh, choosing a college for my education was much more easier for me because I, I knew that I wanted to go into a college which focused primarily on research. And uh, UIC, as you mentioned, uh, does focus a lot on research and especially undergraduate research, which is not, you know, very common in uh, majority of the universities. So when I decided that uh, I, I want to do research, this was definitely one of my top choices. And then um, I will talk about how to get research once you are new to college. I know once you're a freshman, there's a, there are a lot of questions and you, you know, question yourself that, hey, I am a freshman. Am I even, you know, will I even be considered for working uh, with masters and PhD students? So to answer that, definitely yes. Because as I said, UIC focuses and wants its undergraduate community to be part of, you know, researches and most of the classes you're going to take do encourage you to be part of labs and take up on research. So the, one of the main things you have to do is uh, build a good repetition and, you know, a good relationship with your faculty and your mentors and your professors to stand out to them. And you have to show that you are interested in doing uh, research in the and you know you're interested in their work and just when you're uh, in your classes you can go up to them and talk to them uh, before that what you could do is go on the ure which is the undergraduate research experiences website and uh, it has all the research going on listed all the research going on at uic right now and you might want to take a look at that that's what i did uh, and uh, then I was fortunate enough to get a couple of opportunities in my freshman and sophomore year. And I, I, can, I can talk more about that. Um, yeah, you want to talk about some of the, many of the research experiences you've had at UAC and the faculty you've been able to work with and um, maybe what you've actually learned from some of those experiences. Definitely. So I worked with Professor Robert Paul Malchow. Uh, that was in my sophomore year, my first semester of sophomore year. And I definitely would encourage everybody to take up research once uh, in their undergraduate years. Uh, that is simply because research allows you to, you know, pursue your interest and it definitely polishes your leadership skills, your team working skills, and it just uh, gives you the hands on experience of the theoretical, uh, uh, you know, knowledge which you get in class. It just gives you a practical approach and especially at UIC uh we are more you know focused on peer review working in a team getting feedback from not only your faculty but your peers and i can show you later that how the labs uh, in uic are you know built in such a way that you are you know encouraged to work in a team and get feedback from different people and your students because uic similar to the city of chicago has a very diverse community so you get uh, you know, feedback and opinions from all different kinds of people. And it just helps you build as a, you know, uh, as a student and get experience. And most of you will eventually go into graduate school. So it definitely helps you to understand how research works and build, you know, good relations with your professors, because you will need those letter of recommendations later on and the experience definitely, definitely matters. Great. And then you've expanded on some of your undergraduate research experience and you even use that to turn into an internship opportunity. Can you talk a little bit about how you've also uh, connected with our LAS career development resources? Definitely. So the College of LAS has all the kinds of, you know, uh, resources for students like myself and especially freshman year students. 
So um, I uh, was fortunate enough to attend one of the LAS career workshops where uh, they talked about how to get an internship, especially once, uh, you know, when you have uh, uh, been uh, at UIC for a couple of years, you have the experience now, how to reach out to people, build connections, do networking. So I was fortunate, in, uh, fortunate enough to get an internship at the University of Chicago, all thanks to the LAS uh, careers office. And I did some research there in the lab as well. And definitely my research experiences at UIC working under Professor Malchow, uh, you know, helped me thrive there. Uh, it, 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 it was a wonderful experience meeting so many different kinds of people. And uh, yeah. And so again, when we use this term again, undergraduate research, can you give us just like a sample of like, what would be an, an activity that you undertook as an undergraduate research assistant? So there are all kinds of UI, the labs at UIC are, you know, very well equipped. They have all the kinds of uh, equipments and the resources you need in a lab. I was working uh, in gel electrophoresis. That's uh, uh, it's a method to work with DNA and segregate the DNA. To be honest, I wasn't very sure if I was able to do that in, you know, because I was too young and to be honest, I did not have any prior research experience before coming to UIC. Um, but my professor uh, and my, the principal invest, investigator in my lab, they made the transition in the lab so, so smooth. And I was, you know, uh, I never felt that this is my first time working. Uh, and also the PhD students I was working with, they just made me so comfortable and helped me throughout. And uh, I can like maybe now now I have spent like a couple of years in the lab and probably hopefully I will see some of you guys in my lab next year and I can probably be your mentor, just like how I was mentored. Um, That's great. I mean, again, right when you're coming into a university, you just really want to make sure that people are going to be welcoming and uh, help you to uh, learn the ropes that they that they have undertaken themselves. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. UIC has all the kinds of resources. Um, especially for undergraduate students, transfer students who are new to UIC to make the transition from high school or from a different college smooth. Uh, it's upon us how we, you know, make use of the resources. So definitely, uh, I would encourage everybody, once you are here on campus, uh, be aware of what UIC has to offer and make sure that you use it because people are here to help you uh, at every step. It's just you have to reach out, ask questions, and make just make most of all the resources that are available to you. Um, Great, and Paulash. So again, most of our students today that are joining us are incoming to UIC. Um, what is a, I guess a tip that you might want to offer them of how to really make the most of their UIC academic experience? Um, as I said, it's very very uh, you know vital to have. Uh, very good relationship with your professors to to know them personally for them to know you and for you to know them so uh, the the lectures tend to be a little you know more uh, with a bigger community but the discussion sec sections are a little more uh, you know uh, they're smaller so you get more individual attention and that is the time for you to make an impact and you know make an impression, you you're supposed to ask them questions. Do not hesitate to ask any questions, um, and uh, just reach out. Make the, everybody is you have to know everybody is here to help you. And if you're part of research, you will understand how important it is to you know uh, balance your college life with your academic life, your social life, because the four years you're going to spend here. Uh, are going to be the years you're going to remember for the rest of your life. So it is very, very important that you, you know, not only like you enjoy here and the people here are there to make that happen. So you have to be uh, willing to take help from them. And once you do that, you and once you're able to, you know, balance your work life and your social life and your academic life, if you do your assignments on time, try to submit everything, uh, by the deadline, uh, like, you know, climb up the ladder every day, take, take small progress every day. You will definitely be there. You will have the best time of your life here at UIC, just like I did. And maybe you will be sitting here talking to other prospective students and telling them about how you had the best four years of the life here at UIC. All right, I'm gonna send it right back to Ashley real quick, and then uh, we'll be back with you shortly.
Awesome. Thank you so much, Justin. Um, and thank you, Palash. That was an awesome, um, you know, awesome uh, overview of kind of how um, UIC works and how um, undergraduate research is such an integral part. A um, couple of things I wanted to mention before we um, move on to our last spot. Um, so first and foremost, Palash did a lot of research in the sciences. Keep in mind that research can be done across all disciplines at UIC. So I think that sometimes um, students who are focused on sciences and pre-health will automatically say, I am going to work in a lab um, studying DNA, studying a wide range um, of science topics. Um, however, we see um, undergraduate research in every single area. So English, um, Russian, the humanities, the social sciences. Um, so keep in mind, if you're interested in expanding outside of the sciences, those undergraduate research research skills um, are important no matter what discipline you're looking to study. Um, so definitely check out those resources that um, Sandra provided in the chat. Um, and we can certainly ask, um, answer any questions you may have about that um, throughout the presentation. Um, before I go ahead and transition things over to um, Casey in our active learning classrooms, um, I want to show a quick video on the All Things Sciences, just to give you another um, idea of kind of the resources we offer um, here at UIC for students interested in the sciences. UIC is a research one university and research is a crucial part of you know getting into graduate schools. UIC was a great fit for that. The UIC definitely wants to get you into research as soon as possible so you can explore all the possibilities that are out there. Faculty are very encouraging as far as um, wanting students to participate in research because a lot of uh, faculty that are here are currently working on research and would love to have an extra set of hands uh, helping them out. All of my professors are very supportive in terms of having me ask questions and really just getting to understand concepts more theoretically as opposed to like memorization and kind of like repeating answers. So it's really a lot about asking questions and just understanding things better to be able to apply them into cases like research scenarios. Being given the opportunity to tutor other students here at the Math and Science Learning Center means that you've mastered that subject. However, I've come to realize that by teaching other students, I also learn the topic in an entirely different perspective. I decided to study at UIC because it's a very diverse school. It has a lot of cultural diversity, and that's something very important for me. And for me, it was important to fit in to have that sense of community and acceptance. UIC is the place to come <laughs> if you're interested in, you know, going from basic science to advancing in life and working with people who are, you know, on the national scale, changing a lot, um, and also have this kind of global connection with people around the world. Okay, um, hopefully that gives you a better idea of, again, what we offer in terms of the sciences, the different student resources and support. Our last stop on this virtual um, tour is gonna be in one of our active learning classrooms um, to really show what the student experiences, um, you know, in, on a typical day in the classroom. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that um, over to Casey. Good morning. Uh, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Congratulations on your admissions to UIC. We're happy to have you here this morning and to get a chance to show you some of our great spaces on campus. My name is Casey Thayer. I'm one of the assistant directors uh, for recruitment and engagement alongside Ashley, who's been so kind to show you around and, and host us uh, today. And what we wanted to also show you, in addition to some of the resources that we talked about, one of the things that students have uh, benefited, once, uh, one thing that they benefit from at UIC are active learning classrooms. So when you think of college, you might imagine that kind of theater seating with the professor down in the front, uh, kind of speaking out wisdom to the students, uh, or one person described it as uh, the lecture passes uh, the notes from the professor to the notes to the students without going through anybody's brains. 
Uh, we, we do have some of those large lecture halls on campus, but we also do have a lot of active learning classroom spaces. And we're gonna talk about that. It's right over my shoulder here. We'll get a chance to explore before we jump in there. And I also wanna point out, this is where our pre-health advisors are located as well. So we've talked about some of that additional support you get as a pre-health student if you're pursuing one of those pre-professional goals. We have advisors that are available to help uh, with everything from choosing your classes to selecting volunteer work and research to putting together your uh, admission letters uh, to uh, preparing for the entrance exam, the MCAT, the GAT, uh, the PharmD, getting all the different entrance exams uh, prepared for uh, to get you into that professional program. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look into one of our active learning classrooms and spaces. So come on in. So this is one of our active learning classrooms, mainly focused on the math and science classes. And what you'll see when you look around this, this classroom, instead of that kind of theater seating setup, you'll see a number of small tables scattered throughout. Uh, these tables seat about five to six students. And when you, you see a class being held in this space, students will be sitting around these different tables, uh, working together on whatever course concepts they're reviewing. And what this allows for these active learning spaces they allow for more collaboration between students and they allow for greater retention of materials, uh, greater learning. Uh, they perform much higher and remember these concepts a lot more deeply. Uh, and some of the features, as we move through here, you'll have the students at these different spaces. Then right in the middle here, this is where you'll have the faculty or the instructor and the teaching assistants. This will be their home base where they can use this centralized computer to broadcast uh, images, problem sets, uh, explanations on all these screens that are located around uh, this space uh, that correspond to these different tables. And they don't just stay up front here, but they'll be circling around the room, checking in with groups, giving each of these different student groups more individualized attention and ultimately allows the students to work together to understand these concepts. So, so to take a little bit a closer look at, at the workspaces here. First off, they, they can, uh, you can write on these tables and you also have a whiteboard where you can work out problems. And so what you'll typically see when uh, you're in this classroom space and where we have students located here, you'll see students standing up, drawing on these whiteboards, talking to one another, uh, working out these issues on their laptops. And then they also have these speakers in the, the, the center, these microphones, where they can broadcast out to the entire room. Uh, so the, the instructor might come and have the students explain something that they've come up with, uh, and they can broadcast that out to the room. It's a large space. You can see how large it is and how expansive. Uh, and you would expect that when we get a lot of students in here working, it might get very loud, but it's actually a very quiet space. They've installed this kind of sound dampening on the ceiling. So when you come in here, it's a very studious, a very... Um, uh, rigorous, but also very quiet uh, space in, in which to learn. And, and we wanted to give you a greater insight on what it's actually like to be in the classroom at UIC, because we think we're fairly unique in the opportunities for collaboration between students and, and faculty, some of the spaces we have on campus. Uh, but I don't want you to just take my word for it. We wanted to get an actual uh, insight from one of our uh, students. So we're going to go ahead and shift over uh, to Lena one of our students here who's going to uh, introduce herself, and then we'll talk a little bit about what it's actually like to be in the classroom at UIC. Hello guys, I hope all is well. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations into getting accepted into UIC. My name is Lena. I am currently a bio major in hopes of taking the MCAT. So I am pre-med. Uh, my, my first and second semester in UIC have been going great. And I know many of you guys have talked about it and addressed it, but I'm currently planning to pick a minor either in Latino studies or finance. Great. So can you tell us first why you chose UIC? So UIC actually around this time last year was my second choice. Therefore, I understand if many of you guys are very much undecided, especially because it is just a very important path to taking your life. 
Uh, some of the reasons why I sided with UIC was because of the amazing research opportunities. Um, I know Pasha already talked about it, but many of your professors in the future will be doing some sort of research at UIC. Therefore, you can have that opportunity to participate. Also, coming from a high school that was majority Hispanic, I also really wanted to get that experience with other cultures. Uh, lastly, uh, it was very affordable for me. So you definitely get the most out of your money. And you talked a little bit about like kind of wanting that sense of diversity. Mm -hmm. Do you have you found that at UIC? Yeah, so both in the classroom and in the students, it's really more or less set, set me up for success. Uh, like I said, the diversity in UIC was great. So it's definitely a mixing pot of ideas. And also a little bit more about the classroom. Uh, lecture centers, usually typical uh, like chemistry, Gen Ed 101. Uh, it's usually about 250 students, which I know can be intimidating. I came from a small private school, so my classrooms are very small, but just like letting you guys know, you guys are going to have a discussion section, usually with these typical science classes, so you guys get more or less like that one-on-one -on -one experience with a TA to help you out with anything. Wonderful. Um, how, have you been able to kind of collaborate with other students and how has that kind of helped your learning at UIC? Yeah, definitely. So you are going to bump into a lot of ambitious students, which is more or less a great space to just get along with everyone. And I know it's a little intimidating, but I'm sure you guys are going to be great in this field. And um, I'm currently right now volunteering at Rush and the Rush volunteering student body is more or less all UIC students. So I am volunteering with uh, more upperclassmen UIC students, which they have been giving me more or less like that mentorship position in my life. So if you guys are getting involved in campus and in other places, you guys will find more or less that mentorship experience with upperclassmen, which is great. And I have found myself more or less like taking up their advice and like much of their mistakes that they've made. So I won't make them. <laughs> <laughs> Could you talk a little bit about what the professors are like at UIC? So I think it's at like a research one university. Yeah. Oftentimes you're not getting that connection with, with professors. Have you been able to connect with professors and what, the, what has that been like? Yeah, so I actually have been able to connect with my professors. I mean, you, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, because it's such a huge student body, uh, professors, it's very hard for professors to more or less reach out and Personally, they won't really reach out to you. So it's more or less your job to reach out and try to build a connection with them. Uh, thus, I mean, it's really your duty to reach out and make your presence known. Uh, more or less like the tips that I could give you is going to their office hours and asking questions maybe after class. So talk a little bit about what kind of stands out or what's been your favorite part of classes at UIC? So as you guys might notice, I'm a very talkative person. So I love uh, getting to meet people. And the fact that my classes are so big, I meet someone new every single day and just getting to connect with those people and collaborate with them is amazing. So if you had to, the, these are kind of newly admitted students. You already talked about the difficulty of selecting a college and selecting a path. Mm -hmm. What advice being a, a student who has recently gone through that yourself, would you offer to students in that experience or in that place? Yeah, so as a first year student, I'm in my second semester right now. So I definitely have learned a lot. I feel like I've been at UIC for years now, <laughs> but definitely take advantage of tutoring. I just went to tutoring last week in the past two semesters. So just taking advantage <coughs> of that, I don't, I don't think many of you guys understand how much it helps. And like you crying because you don't understand a subject, like you don't have to do that. You could just reach out for help and there's always someone there. So, yeah. And do you think you're able to get help at UIC? Do you think UIC does a good job of supporting students with that kind of academic resources? Yeah, definitely. So the tutoring center you guys were just at, I actually just went there last week and there's a chemistry TA there every single hour. So you definitely do get that help, whether it's after class or before. Wonderful. Um, well, thank you, Lena, for giving us that insight into uh, the uh, student experience at UIC. We'll go ahead and shift it back to Ashley.
for some, some closing comments. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much, Lena. Um, so yes, as Casey mentioned, um, I'm just gonna make a couple quick closing comments. I am going to um, go ahead and then spotlight it over to our assistant dean um, to do a quick um, tour of the lab space. And then he will also make um, some closing comments as well. But I think that after kind of our discussion today, students and families always want to know, okay, so this all sounds great. Um, what what is what are my next steps? How can I, um, you know, become a student in the fall? What do I need to do to be ready? How can I get some more information? Um, so first and foremost, I would recommend um, we have gotten quite a few um, messages in the chat, and we've responded to as many as we can. So if you have very specific questions that are tailored to kind of your um, you know, what you're looking to study at UIC, or if you have specific questions on your situation, I would definitely recommend setting up an appointment with one of our wonderful recruiters um, that you've seen um, today. And you can email them at lasinfo at uic.edu um, to really um, set up an individual appointment to make sure that you're clear on those next steps. Um, we offer self-guided tours through our admissions office, as well as many upcoming in-person and virtual events um, for admitted students. Um, so certainly take a look at some of those options. Um, and then lastly, um, as a first-year student, um, submitting your intent to enroll by May 1st um, is, is really preferable, as it will allow you to really have, um, you know, have your next steps in terms of taking placement exams and doing all of the orientation um, items needed to um, be a student here in the fall semester. Um, so we are so excited you decided to join us today. I'm going to pass this over um, to our Assistant Dean of Recruitment and Engagement, Justin Weyer, um, to really kind of wrap up um, the program today. So thank you again, um, and we hope to see you here in the fall semester. Thanks, Ashley, again. Um, and just so again, to wrap up our session for today, uh, we really want to make sure that you guys could see some of our, our, our spaces of where you're going to actually learn as a student here. And so we're just going to give you a tour of one of our sample biological sciences um, teaching laboratories. Uh, so again, I'm here with one of our great generators, Paul Ash, uh, to talk a little bit about um, what it's like to be in a laboratory uh, with your fellow classmates here at UIC who are studying the science. So this is how our lab at UIC is. Uh, this is a lab for bio 120, which is population and communities. A lab is much more relaxed than a traditional classroom. Uh, it's being designed in a way that you are encouraged to work in groups, as I said earlier, uh, which you know builds team working skills and also helps you get the hands-on experience, build relationships, get feedback, and also uh, make new friends at your freshman year. Uh, we are doing all kinds of stuff here, all kinds of cool stuff here, such as learning about microscopes, uh, gel electrophoresis, PCR, which is the polymerase chain reaction. You must have read that a lot during COVID-19. And so, yeah, it's just about learning what you are, uh, it's about doing what you're learning during, during your lecture classes and get, get the hands-on experience. And it's, it's uh, you know, it's loaded with all the new equipment and such as incubators, the, the microscopes, all types of new microscopes. And it's, I, I love working in a lab because as I said, it's much, much more relaxed. And you just, it, it, you get the practical approach towards what you are learning in the classroom. So I hope to see you here one day soon. Great, um, thanks Paul Ash, thank you to uh, Sonia for spotlighting the Math and Science Learning Center. Uh, thank you for Lena for spotlighting what it's like to be in one of our typical uh, active learning classroom spaces here at UAC. Uh, we hope you guys had a really good time to learn a little bit more about what it's like to study in the sciences and in free health areas here at UAC. Uh, we have many wonderful faculty, advisors, uh, fellow classmates here that are going to support your educational journey here at UAC to help you prepare for whatever your next steps might be um, after you graduate from UAC. Um, that will be the end of our session for today, uh, but we really hope that you're going to engage with us uh, at other admitted student events, and we hope to see you this summer at orientation to help you get started in your journey here at UIC. 
Um, so thanks again from uh, UIC and our uh, teaching laboratories and our math and science learning center and active learning classes and spaces here at UIC. Uh, have a great rest of your Saturday. And we're going to stop recording now, uh, but we'll feel free to stay after and answer some more questions on Zoom and the test feature. Um, have a great rest of your uh, weekend. Take care from UIC.